Yo, 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 guys. What's going on? The name is Dumzo Danino. Everyone calls me Gonzo. Call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. But welcome. This is the start of my new walkthrough slash playthrough. Or let's play, whatever they call them nowadays. Of GTA Vice City Stories. My name again is... Dumzo Danino. Thank you for joining me on this crazy adventure that we're about to have. A little bit about me. I like to drink on stream today, Saturday, so I'm probably not going to drink on stream. Unfortunately, that's only for Fridays. Um, I say I cuss a lot, quite a bit. Uh, this is not intended for children, although if you are watching and if you're under the age of 18, your discretion is advised. Um, yeah, guys, I on my bio, it says I play or I stream everything or on Twitch, it says that. On YouTube, it says probably something else. But yes, I play everything. Uh, I'm try to keep it mostly consistent. Try to at least. It uh, just kind of depends on my week. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are my days. I play games. You already know how it is. Uh, I just finished up the complete definitive edition of the GTA series. That that includes GTA Three, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas. If you don't give a fuck about Vice City stories, head over there and watch one of those. I also upload a lot of fucking shorts. I uploaded a few today. Uh, I'm probably going to go on YouTube right now and um, show it on that I'm live. Um, yeah, guys. Again, my name is... Dumzo Danino. And welcome to this fucking stream. Now, before we get started, uh, it probably isn't a bad idea to show it on YouTube. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, it's a, it's going to be quite an interesting game. Um I am not going to disclose what program I'm using to play this game, but just know that it works and that's all that fucking matters. Um, yeah, let me, let me make this post real quick. Alrighty. Well, we'll see how many people uh want to join. But yeah, guys, again, thank you for joining this. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're somehow on the Twitch viewers, which I can't see you, please say hello. Um, yeah, guys, get uh go get yourself a fucking beer, do something, just hang out, talk, chitty chat. Uh, but this is the start of my new let's play GTA by City Stories. Let's fucking do it. Uh, it's February 4th. 2023 forgot to say that but yeah guys let's get right into it uh this is gonna be a blast <laughs> fuck i, I don't want to do that all right let me exit out of this shit completely there you go <sighs> all right you guys let's get right into it Ah, nostalgia at its finest. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting, guys. It's gonna be interesting to say the least. And dude, shout out to technology and the fact that I'm able to play this game. This isn't a definitive edition. This ain't none of that. It's an enhanced version. I, like I said, I'm not gonna disclose what program I'm using, but I'm glad that we live in the age that we do, that we can go back and play these gems. Now, before you guys start saying I'm like playing this game and shit like that, whatever, all the stupid legal issues behind it, I own a copy of this game. So I feel, uh, not that I feel, I think I, not that I think either. I know I have the legal right to play this game. So fuck off. Don't tell me shit. Vic Vance reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Vic Vance. Doesn't that sound uh, like a familiar name? Are you well? Yes, thank you, Sergeant. Good. In here, you can call me Jerry. Okay. Okay, Jerry, huh? <laughs> now, Vic, tell me, why did you sign up, huh? To stay out of jail because you like getting shouted at, huh? What makes you polish your boots and put bullets in your guns in the hopes that maybe you get to shoot someone, huh? I got a difficult family. 
I got responsibilities. What? Kids? Uh, abroad giving you shit? Huh? No. Brothers. Uh, one is real sick. Asthma. And I gotta pay the bills. The other, well, maybe he's sick too, but in a different way. My mom's a mess. So you joined the army to get rich? Not exactly, but... You know, my dad, he came here from DR. We didn't have a lot of opportunities. Dominican Republic. But what else was I supposed to do? Get some bitches. Why did you join up? To get rich! Why, <laughs> why are you messing with me, Sergeant? I ain't. Chill. Relax. Take a seat. Look, Vic, there are plenty of opportunities for a man who knows the game to make real money. So... I don't want any trouble, man. Who wants trouble? Nobody. Everybody wants to relax. No trouble. And there's plenty of money to be made. Nice and easy. Listen, I don't think this is for me. So if there's nothing else... Hey, relax, huh? Come on, Vic. I need a favor. No risk. So why do you need me if there's no risk? Because I gotta take registration. Besides, you're not on duty for a couple of days. Listen, you take my bike, you go over to the airport, and you pick up a package for me, huh? Okay, just this one favor, and that's it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to interrupt that entire cutscene. I've seen this cutscene a few times already with um, getting this Listen, shit going. if plans change, I'll let you know. What's this? It's a pager, tough guy. Welcome to the 80s, Vic. But, I, like I said, I was going to throw out there that out of all the GTA characters that I've played with, including uh, GTA 5 all the way to GTA 3 and everything in between, I, I want to say that um, Big Vance, which is this guy, he's the, um, he's the most... Um, oh my God, I get it. I just don't want to get copyrighted. Every time we get back together, every single Memorial Day, we always hear about He's the most uh, respectable yeah. one to hey, me. When you're in a Fox and what I mean by that is, do. like, he, he has great morals. He stands for good um, um, things in life, you know what I mean? Like, he's a pretty honorable uh, protagonist. Right? I would say right ahead of um, Nico Bellic, which is a GTA 4 main guy. The rest of them are always have like something crazy going on with them and shit and they always want to do bad and for the most part uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil too much about the story, but Big Vance doesn't he's not really about that life I mean, he's in the army. He has a sick brother. He has a dumbass brother uh, Lance Vance You guys remember him from the first GT or from the first Vice City um, Yeah, he um pretty honorable and he's just trying to get by and do everything the right way but it's the 80s and you live in miami good fucking luck doing that hey army boy jerry sent you say jerry uh sergeant martinez sure <laughs> hey, come with me soldier i've got something for your boss man life's been good to you I also want to throw out there that if, if on, you see me fuck up, right. it's because I'm learning the controls. <laughs> the controls from back then to what they are now, Here's even with the Jerry Definitive stuff. Edition, are completely Tell him my different. Cut goes up next time. Vice City's getting too peligroso for us freelancers. Speaking of which, we've got company. Grab that gun and take them out. Ah! Ah! Abandoned ship. Who is this guy again? Mendez? What the fuck's his last name? And this part right here, guys, is just to tell me that I can swim. Which is good. Because if I fucking fall off the edge, like I've done in many times before, before this game, um, I'm not gonna die. Oh, you guys can't see the beeper off of my fucking head. Martinez, hide the stuff in your barrack. Get your grubby mitts off Get me! Out. Now. Let me, um... I'm gonna do you guys a favor. Yeah, I usually try to move my webcam 
to make sure it's not in a bad spot. Um, let me. Oh shit! No. God damn it. Oh, I need to put that right there. <clears throat> All right, move. See me moving. See how that looks. If not, I'm going to move it back. Sorry. That's right, whore. We're so crazy. I'm crazy. Are you crazy, Ty? And I do apologize if you guys were watching the previous streams, like for Vice City and San Andreas and shit like that. My head was in the way. I don't think I was really in the way, though. This is your Barrett. Yeah, you see, like that, you could actually see. Walk into the arrows and enter an exit building. Just tutorial missions. You can save your progress by collecting save icons. Time will advance by six hours. Walk into the weapons to pick them up. You know what, dude? Fuck. I can't really be doing that. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Hold up. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't fuck it up. Okay. Yeah, I just realized that I can't really mess with that webcam too much because Whenever I create the shorts, there's a specific setting that I have that I automatically do every time, which uh, really makes me doing the shorts a lot quicker and easier. And I don't want to fuck that up. So, yeah, if you can't see the blimp over my fucking head, I'll just read it. You can change the radio station you tune to, or you're tuned into with L1. And you know me, I only listen to the fucking. Use L2 R2 button to look around. Weather forecasters are predicting a stormy time ahead for Vice City as Hurricane Gordy threatens to make landfall in the South Keys. City officials have taken the usual precautionary measure of closing all bridges from the mainland to Ocean Beach and Vice Point, and all. F I do not give a fuck. But yeah, they have their own little news station as well, like um, GTA 3 and shit. Um, I didn't want to fuck with this real quick because I've always hated this setting in Vice City game or yeah, in Vice City games, whether it be this one or the original. It's just like, I don't like that trail shit, but I'll leave it because it's, that's the most authentic. Vice City as Hurricane Gordy threatens to make landfall in the South Keys. I don't care. Are you high on tie stick? Cleaning house. Sure. No, no worries. Oh, look, I gotta go. The cavalry just turned up. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> Corporal, what can I do for you? Listen, Jerry, you gotta get rid of that stuff. It's making me nervous. I'm not into drugs, and Chill I don't- Chill the fuck out, my friend. You're really getting on my nerves. Besides, who are you gonna get in trouble <clears throat> with? I'm your superior officer, and you told me you needed the money. I do need the money. Uh-huh, but you don't like drugs. I don't think they're a good scene. Me neither. But you like guns, huh? They don't give you a moral problem, I mean. No. Good, because I know a guy who can sell all the guns we can get them, <laughs> which is, trust me, quite a lot. I don't know, Sergeant. This is getting heavy. You'll make a whole pile of cash for nothing. Buy that sick brother of yours a whole lot of candy. What do I have to do? <laughs> Rivalry. People <laughs> <Still> doing coke. <laughs> Excuse me. Nothing. Just go and pick up the money from him. He's down over by the docks. <clears throat> hey, Vic. You want some of this, huh? <laughs> uh. 
Jesus. Is he barking? <laughs> God damn. Dude, I remember whenever I was a kid and I would play these games, I used to be kind of upset that you couldn't do the drugs. Like in GTA San Andreas, you couldn't smoke weed, you couldn't do any drugs. In Vice City, you can't uh, smoke coke. But it makes complete sense now because, one, Rockstar already got a lot of shit for releasing these types of games. And obviously, it's a game. Kids are going to play these games. Um, where am I going exactly? How do I turn that shit off? How do I zoom out? Where am I? Oh, it's all the way over there. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, so Rockstar got a lot of heat, obviously, from releasing all these games, and obviously, they're games. Kids are gonna play games. So it makes sense that if the game is one already as violent as it is, they shouldn't add more fuel to the fire by allowing the main character to do drugs and snort coke and shit. They just made them seem like kind of a, a figure that you could look up to. So you don't do drugs, you're always honorable, and you try to do the best for the people around you, even if it means killing people. Which is not a good way to approach life. But that's the way that GTA made it us. Uh, oh shit! We're at the boat show. Hey, good times, man. Think happy thoughts. Outboard motors, dead fish, bullets ripping through flesh. I'm thinking about that. Great, great. That's happy. So anyhow, listen, bait and switch is coming at you today from the boat show. So I'm going over here to get guns. Oh. Yeah, the controllers aren't too bad. Just, just yet. A couple of girls with big tits advertising the ammunition for who Ora. God damn. Oh, it's the boy right there. You must be Vic. Did Jerry told What's me What's the about dude's you? name again? Hey, I used to be fucking love service. this guy. Yeah, listen. He said you'd have some money for me. Sure, sure. Well, I ain't a bank. I don't have it on me, but I'll take you to it. Love this guy. Phil. That's his name, Phil. All right, Phil. Get the fuck out of here. Phil's old place. Bro, you guys got to stop changing the fucking I mean, ha -ha, radio. I mean, funny like yeah, yeah. You can give me copyright. I, I hear you, Larry Joe. It's All right, so... so I've been having trouble with them cholo boys. Some of them have. What the hell is a cholo? Bunch of Mexican gangbangers, bad yeah. boys, trying to take over all the gun running in town. Look, where's the money, Phil? Yeah, well, funny thing, you see, it's like this. It's under the floorboards of my old place, but the cholo evicted me, and now I can't get to it. I'll get to it. This is where see Big Vance's reign of violence begins. Also, too, guys, I don't know if you guys know, but the very beginning of Vice City, where Tommy Versetti has a deal with someone, that's actually Vic Vance. Not the same voice actor or anything like that. And he, to be quite honest, he's kind of like a, like a little bitch, or at least he acts like one. Um, But yeah, that's actually Vic Vance. What the fuck is this? Stay calm. How do I shoot? Don't make me do this. Go inside the building. Yo! My fuckers be doing cool shit. Cholo kill you, good pendejo. Now I wasted all my bullets. I do this shit for a living. Damn, everybody's just doing fucking coke. Taking their cars. Take the money back to Martinez. I already told you bitches, I'm only gonna listen to DCPR. Now, 
My city talk radio. Broadcasting from the Vice oh, City Boat and Sports Show. Stop down here in the can, you'll see a lot of things make you proud to be a man. Like other men. Like, uh, like, like guns. And yeah, 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 yeah. Flags for your trucks. Damn. Damn. Beating up on little girls and stuff like Whoa. that. You know, yeah. you Nothing's really changed between this game and the Vice City. And species. Until next time, stick in your rod and screw the limit. And the boobs, fill it full of holes. Bro, oh, come on. That was bait and switch. Oh, he fucking well, teleported. New skill unlocked. The will rise again. And look, they've infiltrated this station. That's what public radio is. It represents the public. 25% of which is at least that dim-witted and lazy. I'm Michelle Montanius. Now one from the archives of old-time radio. From before this was a public station. A show no. that 40 years ago. The Tom Ranger. The Vice City Broadcasting System and American Oil and Motors presents... God damn it, dude. Fuck, and the cars still blow up. Run, dumbass! It's a little dark. Let me turn up the brightness for you. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little better. Bro, come on. You could jump that. There you go. Dumb cluck. When I take out my time machine, I can go just about anywhere. Come on, fuck. Union soldier storming it. Let's get a move on. Thank God I got this part. Get your grubby mitts You can have my old one. Back in about five. Oh, dude, that was a loud ass fucking hit. <laughs> Shit! Oh wait, I don't have anything to worry about. Big fans can swim. Dumbass for said. You better put that thing away. Mother caught me doing that and made me. All right, stow it. I don't need to hear your personal history stories, son. This is my time machine, see? And by the way, it's not an ordinary. Gee Willikers, it sure is small. Gee Willikers. I don't need to know what I already know. All right. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll travel back to high school and save Mary one more time from marrying that awful. Bill lets friends uh, use the shooting range whenever they want. You got it. Yes. Nice. Hey, don't give me the cold hot stick. Where's the pager that you got? Beeper 220. You'll understand. Believe me, you will. Add something. Don't get into any trouble. Victor. We're counting on you. Lad says hi. Tell me about it. Yup, Lad's back. Why, yes, of course I can. Don't you listen? I told you, that's where I'm from. I'm... Travel through time and fight Tell me, boy. Yeah. Pick up those guns. Let me tell you a few things about life. Oh, oh they got a whole ass tank in there. First off, there's a big difference between excitement and what you call a arousal. But the uh, conduct on becoming. I was watching porn, yo. Wow, did anyone ever tell you you got a really dumb name? No, no one's ever mentioned that before. Oh my, look at that. Hey, is that legal? Can animals give consent? I don't know. Listen, Jerry, can you stand Is it a monkey fucking? What we? I'm shooting with you. Come on, having fun. Rock and roll. Oh, would you fucking relax, my friend? Look, I'm not some idiot that you can just... I never called you an idiot. <sighs> oh, shh, shh. Look at that. Oh. oh, now she got a pig and a horse. Hoo <laughs> That candy sucks. 
<laughs> That's some guy's daughter, man. Listen, Jerry. No, you listen, huh? Oh, dude. Will you look at that? Man, I gotta get laid. Oh, jeez. Hey, if you weren't such a square, I'd do you, huh? <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. This is the army, not the navy, huh? <laughs> hey, listen, man. I need a broad, huh? Oh, I need Mary. Mary, yeah. Oh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. What the fuck does he want? <laughs> Oh, come on, man. I need a favor. I need you to favor. collect your pot, dude. Sure. And I need I'm some get bitches. Your quarters. You go get married for me, okay? She's over at Vice Port. Oh, and go see Phil again. He says something about a gift for you. Huh? I don't trust you, Martinez. Hey, that is not an appropriate way to speak to a superior officer. <laughs> now get on with it. Come on. The reefer is under my bed. Oh, genius. Great hiding place. What are you, 15? Huh, hurry up. <laughs> oh, hey, and tell Mary I love her. Fucking idiot. Oh. Ooh. 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 Jesus, fuck, man. What is he watching? <clears throat> All right. Get on with it. Take this bike. Meet Phil at his old place. So, what are those cholos do? And women, they paint their faces yellow. Brian walking the streets of the village. Uh, and that, my boy, is the future, like it or not. Hello, Richard. Have you heard those plague victims yet? Who are you talking to? Mother, mother, this is my new friend. Why, I don't what see fuck am I listening to? I need you to get on with killing those lovers. But first, have me the chamber pots on their heads. No, really. It's the Time Ranger. He's from the future. He says in the future, unicorns go around pleasing women. Well, they try anyway. Well, that <laughs> sounds interesting. I'll say Yeah, we're not the there just yet. Saucy. Now, don't you and your visible friend get hot under the collar. I don't want any more of your silly ideas. Autoerotic asphyxiation, indeed. Tell me, does my pox look okay in this tub? The king is coming by to take me illicitly. Uh, how you doing, doll? Forgive me. Nice to meet you. I'm the, uh... Ooh. I need to look up a guns map for... Is that helpful? Him right the world's wrongs. He oh, those are the balloons. Yeah, so you know how in every GTA game there's like these weird things that you have to find and like in San Andreas they had the oysters, the pictures, the, the graffiti spots, the clams, uh, the horseshoes. I think I already said clams in the movie. And um, in, I don't and in Vice City and in GTA 3 I believe they had the the packages. Right, and in this game, they have the these things right here, the balloons. Now, if you pop all of them, you get, I don't know what the fuck you get. So yeah, but I'm not. This isn't a hundred percent complete. I'm just having fun playing the main story. Fuck, getting catapulted as always. Where I live is just like heaven. Why, we even had a brief period recently where cocaine can be purchased from a pharmacist and the cheerleaders never grow old. Ah, oh, that future sounds awful. Time Ranger, leave us to burn the lovers in peace. Your time here is done. Yeah, it's kind of random that they put red balloons. Um, well, I mean, it's not completely random because the color red is very... You can see that shit from, like, a mile away. Very noticeable. But the fact that it's a balloon is what's kind of random. Hey, Vic, how you doing? Martinez wanted me to give you this. Don't worry, it's Don Traceful. Don't worry? Man, I'm getting too deep into this shit. Now you got a car. Where am I going? Hola! And this one wants to pick up some bitches. Do you know Mary? If you want Mary, she's at a party up on Starfish. I'm heading over there myself. You can give me a lift. Anyway, I'm uh, from the. I didn't want to. Why were there two cops there? It's not suspicious at all. Mona, by the way. I don't if care. I didn't ask. I can do for you, or to you. Just let me know. <laughs> Crazy bitch. Fuck, dude. They make they make it seem like this was hauling ass. Look at this shit. This is badass. One thing that I miss about these old games. 
Cause all the motion blur and shit like that fucking making me look like I'm going really fast. Oh wait, I already passed where I'm supposed to go. Alright, let's go back. So what'd you think, ho? They call her dancing. Maybe I can pay you back in kind later. I just need to find Mary. Sure, she's right over there. Are you Mary? Come on, let's go. Hey, we paid for her. She's not going anywhere. Is that a fact? Damn right. Come uh... on. Let's get this low life nobody and teach this bitch a lesson too. Let's do this. Nice clothes. Try some pastels. Step off. Get off me, man. Fuck you. You. All right, let's go. Let's take one of their cars while we're at it. Um. Take it easy, muscles. I've got a delicate disposition. I didn't ask you, bitch. I don't even know who you are. Oh, fuck. Did Martina send you? That cockroach still owes me from last time. Well, by one-sided diatribes on the airwaves, but also by remembering a lot of things aren't American. Just gotta get used to these new controls. Fuck. Oh, there's another red balloon right there. Play ball in the street, then have a lemonade and some heavy petting. But the storybook childhood isn't... Um, where am I going? Can I cut in through right here? Yeah, I special correspondent has this special report on child I think this bridge is new. I don't think they put that bridge in, um, or they have that bridge in the reverse by scene. Which is smart as fuck because obviously, uh, this side is completely cut off. All right, Victor. Sorry. Corporal Vance, would you care to explain why there's marijuana hidden under your bed? And who the Sam Hill is this? Hey, buddy. Listen, I charge more for Groot. You brought a whore onto the base? Have you no shame, boy? Are you a moron? Is that it? Drugs, whores, you're out of here, soldier. You're a disgrace. Yep. Because of fucking Martinez. Fuck that guy. Yeah, we were, he was set up. I don't fucking blame him. Phil, I've got work for you. The Soviets didn't know and to stay if no you back to the Stone Age. If you're gonna play. Nah. Fuck. Make you a cowboy. Millions of Chinese think so. We'll talk to Redwood Tobacco CEO Ken Silverman, but first, let's take some calls. Hello, I'll get some more gun. I don't think I have any. Yeah. You. Yeah. I did not clear that. Oh, I did clear that. Oh, but I still failed the stunt.
Bro, where the fuck am I? Oh my god. Probably go to commercial messages. Oh, I can't. This is public radio. Well, let's have a pledge drive or something. <laughs> you cheap asshole. You don't care about me. You turn me on when you like and then you don't take care of me when it matters. It's only 125 bucks. Come on. You don't even have to come with me. <laughs> you can now use Phil's old place as a safe house. Nice. <clears throat> Any vehicle parked in the garage around the back will be stored whenever you save your game. Uh, now that is one thing that I have to utilize. I know... I know in all the previous uh, Grand Theft Autos because they were like modern, I could just turn off the thing and whatever, but you know. Yeah, I actually do need to utilize the save game. <clears throat> what are we looking like? Oh. We got some time. Hey, I'm walking here. I'll get some health for sure. That cop ain't got shit on me. I did. Oh shit, that's a cop. She don't even know how to work in I know everyone is the boy Hasbula just went on live. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want to listen. Yeah, ECPR. Millions of people in third world. Cholo victory. But we're still fucking with them Cholos. God damn. Phil, where are you? <sighs> Phil, it's me, Vic. Oh, put your hands where I can see him, boy. Boy. You think you can come here and rob me? Probably try to rape me. <laughs> I know you're kind. Phil, it's me, Vic, your brother in arms. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Oh, my Lower God. Lower your pants and prepare to cry. I'm going to give you a shotgun suppository. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Phil! It's me, oh. Vic. Oh, my. Vic Vance. Kiss Vic. him. Why didn't you say so? Oh Good my to see God. you, brother. Come here. <clears throat> Let me squeeze a fart out of you. Man, that was all fucked up. Oh, I'm sorry about Bruce, man. He was the best. Hey, I can still see the Who smile the on his Bruce? face when he shot that little gook. Bang. Is Bruce his brother? Damn. Have you been one? drinking? What do you think? Listen, we gotta go. I got Fucking love, Phil. to show you. It's a boy right Come there. On. Come on. Come on, now. Hold on. You're gonna drive? <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Yep, ora. Maybe you should. Maybe I should drive, man. Damn stick shift. Other stations are for men. Terrible. Yes, inflation. Great. I traded at the $20 radio. Vic, we're going to drive by on some cholo. I know right where we can pick Let's up try the it. trail. Fuck it. Oh, shit. That was a shit storm in the U bend. <laughs> and I'm drunk. This, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is a special New World Order. I'm just trying to make an honest living, man. Same here. Organized. I can't compete, man. You know, this used to be a fine country. Why are we at Sparker reporting from Thailand? Coming up, do cigarettes make you. Oh, nothing. Felt for sure some cholo would be here. Those scumbags are always crossing the law. Let's not hang around here, Vic. 
Cops make me nervous. I hear you, man. Sometimes I skits out and kill a lot of them. Say, I know another place those damn cholos might be. All right, lead me to them. Of Chinese think so. We'll talk to Red at the hospital. CEO Ken Silverman. But first, let's take some calls. You're acting like fucking the truth. But this is a tutorial mission to tell me where are these fucking locations are. What do you mean? Strike two. Where are they? This could take hours. Good job. I brought a little something to drink. <clears throat> Cholo one bastard. Right there. there he is. Cholo bastard. Oh my god. How are we gonna catch up to him if we're riding this fucking Ricky D pick him up truck with the wood bed? Well, there's an eyeball on top of a pyramid and it says, and we cooked it. I didn't tell if that eyeball don't creep me out enough. It's Latin. God damn Cholos. Who do they think they are? Messing with me? Cholos. Phil bitch killer Cassidy? I didn't know there was cholos in in Miami during the day. God damn, Phil! Aim, you stupid fuck! You're just spraying. This is some fancy driver. He's about to blow up. Yep, there he goes. Come on, you don't even have to come with me. I'll make that. We're gonna need to get my car fixed up, Vic. Old girl ain't looking so good. Yeah, I need ammo. That's the third time today. All right, pay and spray tutorial. I'm glad they didn't give me a cop to show me the same. It's the eighties, and your only moral purpose is your own happiness, no matter what the cost to others. I've been abroad, and I know what it's like. Let me tell you, the food's no good, the bathrooms stink, and the money don't work. India is in the news again. Streets riddled with elephant dung and snake charmers. Food that gives you gas, an unhealthy respect for the cow, and a caste system that nobody understands. Chuck Summers is in New Delhi. Thanks, Dwayne. Despite its name, the city is nothing like Delhi, except the food is old and the country <laughs> tastes like armpit. Yeah, I don't need to read that. It's a hundred bucks, so not a thousand. Like a days in hell. About chanting home and giving that smug look that comes with inappropriate stretching in public. I learned quickly not to show your teeth when at the monkey temples. It makes the monkeys angry. But I didn't come here to get in feces fights. I've got a little Dear Brazilian mama, waiter I do that with on Friday nights back at home. My wife is out playing blood. bridge. These cocky contortions <laughs> aren't just a threat to our convenience stores back in America. There's a bigger threat looming on the horizon. The food. Dwayne, I've been here for 20 years. I mean, take him back all the way to his uh, shooting range. Gut wrenching ass explosions. Jesus. There you have it. News from the front line. No matter how painful. You're a fine wingman, Vic. Damn Cholo will think twice before shitting on my patch from now on. See you around, partner. See you around. We only did that to one Cholo. Two hundred. You have a submachine gun. You can perform a drive. -by. This is Flash FM. Hold L two or R two, left or right, and shoot. Doesn't mean you're small. My sister's it, husband, it means you've Marty, understood that there is, is right looking and there is for wrong. good guys the liberals like and the you. Government try to tell you. When you're facing so the I have to go to Marty. Try telling the real ah, we'll do that later. Let's continue to be equal. You'll get laughed out of court. It's a club, listeners. Anyone can join as long as they pay. But if they choose not to, they better live with the consequences. Boom, shine, blowout. Bill. Oh, <laughs> great, What's Phil. Going on? Fucking love this guy, man. You're a mess. I'm not drunk. I'm just resting my eyes. Okay. So, what's going on? <clears throat> my boom shines. Uh, about to get blown sky high by a bunch of angry scumbags. 
Damn it. Mm. Watching the boy Hasbula what? right now in live? Them cholos are gonna blow up my liquor. There's so much of it at the warehouse. One match, blow it. Oh, he has a little airport in. That's hilarious. Tennessee, here I go. Bill, <laughs> come on. Let's deal with this. <laughs> the thing is, Vicky boy, my daddy was an angry man. He never, ever told me I was special. In fact, he used to beat me. Especially when he caught me staring at my cousin or my sister. You know what he said to me? He said I'd be better off dead. Uh, and uh, how exactly is this helping? Uh, the tragedy of it is, I'm just like him. I am a drunk. <clears throat> I deserve to die. It should have been me instead of Zach on Hill 491, man. Yo, you have some problems, dude. I'm coming home, daddy. <laughs> yeah, daddy, I'm coming home. <laughs> You're pathetic. Yeah. Uh, Take Phil to the warehouse. The uh, exactly where is that? Oh. Alright, let's try to jump this ramp. Again. Okay, what's your point? My wife, she says, Thornton, what you Well Let's do that over again. Well ride my Ruben. Mission failed. He'll dive. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta be careful with my mission fails, guys, because this isn't like the old game where it tells me if I want to restart from the checkpoint. So, boom, shine, blow up. You skip the fucking cutscene. All right, so no more jumping ramps. What fancy foreign religions will do to you, listeners. Thanks to my religion, I am a peace loving, God fearing American. And I'll kill or maim anyone who says otherwise, or has an alternate view of the afterlife. Once you have figured out the meaning of the universe, you can do whatever you want. It was right before the paints where you cut left. Let's find out how American investment has saved this rainforest community in Ecuador. John Sicker right has this report. John. There's that old taxi company or the uh, printing press. Park the truck around the back. Yeah, this seems a little sketch. I could have sworn I locked this place up. You get Bill, robbed. The... Daddy! Oh my god. Scheming cholo bastard body trapped my place. Ain't no use running. When that boom shine blows, we're all gonna die. Get a grip. I'll get your damn liquor. Fuck. I'll back the truck up to the door. You load her up. Alright, so I know this is gonna be timed, and I gotta learn how to do this shit. Okay. Get on the forklift. Oh, they're over here. Use the... Okay. Time for the debris is getting worse. Right. 
not to go around. God damn it, I just hit one of my lights. <laughs> Breeze blocked off more of the warehouse. I'm gonna have to go way the fuck around. Like a fucking maze. <clears throat> Nearly trashed. Come on, let's go. Ah, fuck. Okay, can go that way. Left. I may, I'll make it, but he isn't too high just yet. That's it, a sign. Well, that's fucking weird. <sighs> I was losing audio right now. Fuck, the heat's almost done. But I think I got it. Yep. Easy. Now get the fuck out of here. I better put these babies in some safe place, huh? Yeah, you should. Has your brother been in touch? He hasn't done his chores. That's not my problem. What the fuck? That was a grown ass man. Oh, here we go. This just in a gang related arson attack rocks Little Havana. The one down Latin district grows alarmingly more violent every day as gangs from different communities buy for control of its streets. Firefighters apologize for their late arrival at the scene, blaming the hectic training program of their new fire helicopter service soon to be unveiled in the city. BNN, news on the hour, every hour, regardless. Ta-da. Okay, let's go over to this Marty. After they've been dosed up oh, no, lead, Phil still has missions. I can see you do some film missions, fuck that. Free. Just go to your nearest friendly napalm company in Florida dealer and get your dad to buy 300 gallons of the good stuff. And uh, you'll get an application okay, to join the public protection stuff. team right Probably away. Probably give it two more missions and call it good. It and get so. your dad to send a check for $10 payable to Napalm Promotions Incorporated. And before you know it, you'll be fighting crime in the burgeoning metropolis. Truck stop. <sighs> Uh, 
Oh, hey, fucking Martinez. I had to kill his ass. Victor Vance. What's going on, amigo? We want some smoke. Fuck you, Martinez. Relax. You're so fucking histrionic. It's like hanging out with a bitch on her period. You want me to fuck you up? Whatever, baby. The thing is, you work for Phil. And Phil, Phil works for me. Which makes you my bitch's bitch. Figure that out. <coughs> Man, this shit is heavy. So you had better play nice if you want to get paid, huh? Because if you don't get paid, then who's going to look after your sick brother? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, change the record, baby. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What did you expect me to do, huh? I didn't screw you over for fun. I was saving myself, and you would do the same, and don't pretend otherwise. I had a career. So what? You got kicked out of the army. Big deal. And yeah, Martin's a fucking dipshit, dude. I told Phil about some guns I can sell if you can get them. Hmm? But at the end of the day, Phil, dude, it's kind of sad how it is like that shit, in the huh? real It'll the make real you world. trip out. Get paranoid. Sure. Later, Jerry. Come on, Vic. This just silence any asshole following me. All right, let's do it. We're going to need some backup, Vic. I know some guys that'll help. I ripped those bastards' livers right out of their side. Chill out, man. There ain't no one following us. The daughter was dead. Moorhead and Molly Malmsteen were immediately on the case. Moorhead was confident that he dumb truck. just committed this dastardly act. Gordon? No! Dude, come on. Dead. Are you okay, Gordon? How you bearing up? I mean, that woman was just killed while you were speaking to her. I feel faint and a little scared. It's because you're a woman. Calm down. <laughs> Go and get crawls, but I guess I deserved it. Golden, you're... What is this, a fucking hotel? Hey, fellas, come on. We're gonna make some money. They're good guys, Vic. Just always so quiet. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't trust them. Who shot her? Oh! There. Now I'm better. Helps a man think. <laughs> what the fuck is... Uh, did they put in this uh, talk show? So I'll make it simple. It's like a show. You're thinking it was the same criminal gang who was holding the old fisherman. Why, yes. Yeah, that's why you'll never be a man. It wasn't. It wasn't? No. So who shot this fisherman's daughter? I did. You? But, oh, why? Fact is, Molly, there are a lot of things you don't understand with that darn poisonous estrogen coursing willy-nilly through your veins. Oh, fuck. With her father missing that girl. You've run somebody over. A girl without parents is five I happen. Like the end of a prostitute, a fallen woman who ruins American marriages, or worse. Oh, that's terrible. I know. So I shot her and threw the heater in the river. Oh. I saved her from herself and the rest of society from the kind of filth that preys on the loins of American men. Gordon, you're so uh, What the fuck are we doing? You guys can shoot. What? I'm not going to stay shit. Shoot shit. Look at that. Holy shit. They're fucking mowing them down. Ow. Don't get cocky. I was just doing my job. Look, there's something else you've missed, Molly. Before she was to Look at that. Her father was unarmed and never wore a gun. Yes. That's right, Molly. Means he's a to get in front of him. I imagine when he hears his daughter is dead, he'll cry. What kind of a man cries, Gordon? I don't know. One that loses wars, I think. Mm. Probably the kind of man who raises a two-dollar tramp for a daughter, Molly. A very sick individual. Hey. I'm gonna take the truck back to my place. Anyone follows me, you give him hell. <sighs> I don't like to express strong emotions, but I think I hate this fisherman, Gordon. Stay close to Phil and protect them. Oh, I shall. You've got a long way from your fucking house, man. Looks like the Fuck, bro, that's gonna fucking blow up my car. <laughs> I think they beefed up the um, the car's health though, which is good. Jesus, you're putting damage um, on that thing by yourself. 
Morehead, I know we've had Sunshine Auto. in the past, but the city needs you. Our burgeoning beach sign community could be ruined by this sort of scandal. We'll have to bring this oh, that's cool. It takes. This is the, the new Sunshine Auto that they were going to build. Hiding in a swamp somewhere. Yeah, Morehead. First, One of we don't say swamp. We say attractive wetland countryside right on your doorstep should you decide to move to our beautiful part of the world. Sorry. Secondly, if you're heading into the swamp, you'll probably need some help. Me? Help? I'm good Morehead, not some rusky chief. I mean this kind of help. Friendly napalm. It's great for all your tree and flesh burning needs. Ooh, you mean friendly napalm is great at fighting crime as well as all the other handy uses it can be put to? That's right, I do. As a policeman and a father and a proud American who served in two wars, Amen. I use friendly napalm for all my napalm needs. There's nothing like a substance that sticks to your skin and roasts you alive to make you rethink your current political or economic system. Cheers, Chief. See you later. But Gordon, wait, I'm coming too. No, Molly, it's too dangerous for girls, even game little terriers like you. I insist. Uh, what are we looking like on time? I could probably speak Lance! Yo, hey bro! At, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Driving me crazy. Can I join you? Let's double... What? I don't know, but I know I'm a man and I know you're a woman and I know there are things I'd like to say to you. Swell things, real things. Alright, looks like that's it for, um, Bill. So now, let's just get, um, this other mission started with, uh, Marty. Um, yeah, just so we can introduce a new character. That's his fault. Will you be quiet? He saw me driving. I should have looked both ways. Um, but yeah, so just so we can introduce another character, a new face, and then cut it quite useful. Exactly. Hey, what's that noise? What noise? There, that whistling. It's Pablo. Pablo, you old dog. Ah, buenos noches, amigo. Buenos noches, señorita Malmsteen. Pablo, what are you doing here? Oh, Pablo no can say, señorita. But since you asked, I was searching for the souls of my ancestors. But I thought you were Mexican. Why would they be buried in Florida? Yeah, that's true. They're not here. Hey, would you oh, like shit. to go to you see what I mean? Pablo? Fuck. Shakedown. <laughs> Hello? Marty? Bill Cassidy sent me. Oh, uh, hi. Marty ain't home or nothing. Oh, okay. Well, do you know when he's gonna be back? I don't know nothing. Excuse me. What do you want, boy? Nothing. What do you want, boy? Are you Marty? No. Now get gone, boy. Bitch! Bitch! Get your sorry ass out here! I thought I told you to clean this shit up! Marty, Mary Beth's been sick. Don't be using that baby as an excuse, Louise. Cause I'll hit her as well as you. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. I was too busy watching you threaten your wife. Well. We was only playing around, boy. He didn't mean nothing by it. He only hits me when I deserve it. Oh, yeah? Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. I'm Vic Vance. Yeah, sure. I got a few things need taken care of right now, as a matter of fact. Drive Moi. me. And Louise, you better have this shit cleaned up before I get back. <laughs> you got me? Think uh Phil's Marty's brother? I know Diddy would hide in these awful swamps. I mean, he's full of alligators and snakes and sea cow food. What business interests of mine is having trouble with some idiots I need put in straight. What business are you in? I look after people and they look after me. Sometimes I have to remind them of their obligations if they don't. But mostly I just mind my own business. You mind yours, pal. Split up and search the swamps and pristine wetlands, whatever. And when we find him, amigos, then and only then we what? Uh. We bring to justice and drink tequila. It's crazy, but it just might work. See, by the spirits of my ancestors, we find this crazy killer. You Americanos and my people are friends forever. Oh, forever. Ah. Let's split up. Molly, you better cut across that swampy bush and swim the waterways. It's safer. Pablo and I will stick together on the drive path. Come on. 
This real estate market ruling killer must be here somewhere. I mean, what kind of sick man would try to ruin Vice Beach's reputation? It's awful. Okay, we're here. Now get on in there and teach them idiots a lesson. You're not coming? Why would I employ a dog and then bark myself? Go sick him, pal. Damn. Damn. All right. Fuck. Let's not escalate this. Okay, buddy, you want to party? All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I gonna rob this bitch or what? Please, I can't afford to pay any more protection. You don't pay, you don't stay. Fuck this place up. Who the hell is this hero? Don't be an idiot. Oh my god. You're gonna be sorry. Bro, shoot, you stupid. Let's not escalate this shit. You done real good, Vic. M Marty? He's with you? What are you doing letting scum in your store? My protection don't run to no daily visit. Are you hot for me, boy? Is that it? You want to see my pretty face here every day? What? I mean, I... No! Voice of my time, your protection rate just went up. Damn. Okay. He runs protection business security, basically. <clears throat> Come on, Vic. These Cholo boys normally protect a store nearby. Now it's going to need new protection. Let's go get it. The real estate rush has destroyed our natural resources. Get to the Cholo right. store. You stand in the way of progress. You're running a protection racket? And more besides soon enough. Come on. Put the pedal to the mail. Step on it. Bonfire could also be doing something as noble as burning to death a criminal genius like that. Incredible. You Americanos are crazy. Hey, who wants a tequila? Damn. Oh, oh, oh. My god, her breasts have exploded. Holy frijoles. <laughs> Holy frijoles! This is it. Let's get in there and bring them into the fold. How the fuck is there still loading screen? But I pay protection to the Cholo! I don't see them protecting you any. Vic, get to work. Marty, this ain't right. You want to get paid? Be a man. Or are you all hat and no cattle? Huh. Have to break their shit. My fist? Please, I don't want any trouble. That's why you need us. Please, this is crazy. Oh, there's a bat. Fuck them up. Oh shit. You ain't gonna win this. Oh. You having fun? Okay, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'm gonna fucking sick, die, my friend. <clears throat> You did a man's job today. I might have more work for you. See you around. What are we looking like? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here, guys. Um, instead of dragging you guys to go and see me save, I'd rather just cut it off right here. But yeah, guys. I mean, shit. Fucking games about 15 years old now, I believe. I want to say these games came out, came out like in 2007-ish. So that's about 15 years. Um, but yeah, I actually, pretty, I actually enjoyed this game so far. I mean, the, the story development's good. The characters are good. The antagonist, the protagonist, your main character's good. A lot better than GTA 3, I can tell you that right now. GTA 3, I fucking dreaded because it lacked development. At least with this one, I have a backstory with Vice City that I could attach to this game. So as of now, I'm enjoying it. I think I've only beat this game like maybe once whenever I was a kid. Um, and I just kind of left it there. But it's cool to revisit this game again and just to really see what, what it was about and shit like that. I know it had originally came out for the PSP. Uh, then it was uh, introduced to the PS2. Um, so yeah, that's how I was able to play it. Um, but yeah, guys.
If you're on Twitch, head over to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, head over to Twitch. You know the fucking dealio. My name is... Dumzo Danino. And I'll see you guys on the next one for part number two of GTA Vice City Stories. Peace and chicken grease.